In this next video, we are going to see how to write um, some functions. Um, as an example, we are going to create a list of colors and we are going to put some values into this list and we are going to print it. And so far, we have seen how to write all our Python programs without any functions, with just one main function. In this case, we're going to see how to split our program into multiple functions. Uh, helps with readability and um, also modularity. So as my comment here says, we are going to create a list of colors and we're going to define some functions to do it. And we're going to call the functions from our main function. And this will help you with your assignment number eight. So let's start out by writing um, the first function that actually creates a list. So let's say create a function to create a list. So a function to create the list. So we'll call it def is our syntax to define a function. Then the name of the function, whatever you want to call it, but it has to be a meaningful name. So I call it create list and the empty parenthesis says this is not taking any parameters. We'll create a couple of different functions. This one takes no parameters and a colon after that. And I'm going to create my list called my list equals empty square brackets. So that says my list has no values in it, but there is my list that's been created. Now I'm going to return this list to my main function. So you say return my list. That's it. That's all that function is going to do. Now let's write another function to add values to this list. So there are a couple of different val ways to add values to the list. Uh, you can either get it from the user or you can just put some values in there. So let's write def and we'll call it fill list because that's what we're going to do. Now the list has already been created in this previous function. We don't want to create a new list, but instead we will take this list that we are returning to main and pass it around to other functions. So this is going to get this list. My fill list is going to get my list so the my list can be filled. So let's start out by saying my list dot append and we're just going to add a color red. So now we've added red to my list. Let's add one more color append. We'll add blue to my list. Now what if you want to read a color from the user? Let's say color so my variable equals we'll get our input from the user. Please enter a color. So now we are going to get the input from the user and we will append that color to my list my list dot append color now my list has some values so i can return my list notice we are only defining our functions these functions haven't been called yet now i'm going to write a function to print that list that we've just created so again def we'll call it print list and of course it's going to take that my list so it can print it and we need to print all the colors in the list so we use a loop and we say for color in my list what that means is the first time color variable is going to have the first color from my list which will be red and we are going to print that so we're going to say print color and I'm just going to separate the colors by a space rather than put them all on separate lines so the for loop essentially says print the first color then go back get the next color from my list and print it and so on and so forth now we've written all the functions let's define our main function which is going to call all these functions so that function looks like this def the main function is called main. Again, main has no parameters, so it's an empty parenthesis. And from main, so from main, we are going to call all the different functions that we wrote, and we need to call them in the right order. So the first function we created is create list. Create list, however, returns a list, which is my list. 
So we need to put it in somewhere. Otherwise, the value that we return is going to get lost. So I'm going to say my list equals create list. So when and open and close parenthesis for empty um, function call. So what this says is create list will call this function. My list will get created and it will come back and be assigned to my list here. If we don't do that, we're going to lose the list that comes back and we will have no way of passing it to my next function, which is called fill list. Notice fill list also takes my list as a parameter. So we pass that to fill list and then finally print list also needs my list so it can be printed. So the main function calls three different functions that we have written. Then we need to call the main function. So that looks like this main open and close parenthesis. So the last statement is the one that gets called first. Main gets called, main comes here and calls create list, creates the list and puts it into my list and we pass my list to fill list which takes the list and fills it and then we pass that to my list to print list which prints it. So let's see how this works. Let's save our file and run it and it says please enter a color. So let's enter green and there's our list just red, blue and green. So it's not a very complicated function. It's a very simple function, but it shows us how to define all the different functions, how to return values from a function, how to pass parameters to a function. So this should help you with your assignment number eight, where you need to um, append a list of numbers to a, um, to a list and be able to sum all the numbers in the list and write some functions to be able to do that.